Hello viewers, this is Benjamin from Maya HTT. Today I will show you how to apply a boat preload on 3D elements in SimCenter Nastran using Solution 402. Before going to a step-by-step -step demonstration, let's summarize the process. Starting in the idealized part file, each bolt are cut in half using the split body tool. This split will force nodes to be created on the middle plane for proper preload application. In the FEM file, a glue coincident mesh mating condition is used to ensure a continuous mesh through each bolt. The bolts are then meshed using any type of 3D elements. In the simulation file, one or more preload subcases need to be created and both preloads are then created inside of those specific subcases. The both preload are defined using the cut plane created in the idealized part. Additionally, contact must be created between each faces in contact. Let's see this again with a demonstration. Our demonstration file is a flange tube bolted to an end cap. In the first subcase, I will apply an equal preload on all the bolts. Then I will increase the preload on two bolts and finally I will apply an internal pressure in the tube and the cap. First, I open up my idealized part and I split the bolts in two with the split body comment. Then in the fem file, the first thing I do is to create mesh mating conditions between all the bodies of each bolt to ensure a continuous mesh through the bolt. I then generate a 3D tetrahedral mesh on the bolts. I'm using the automatic element size and I apply predefined mesh collector. Therefore, the material is already defined. As you can see here, a plane of nodes has been created along the plane used to split the bodies. The tube and the cap are already mesh. Therefore, my FEM is now complete. I can now create my simulation file. In the simulation file, I create a solution 402 where I enable large displacements. And in the case control section, I modify the output request to obtain contact results and bolt results. I then create a subcase where I must change the default static type to the preload type. In this preload subcase, I specify the number of increments that I want. With our solution now active, I begin by creating a fixed constraint on the bottom face of the tube. Then I want to create contact between all the different parts. To do so, I'm using the automatic face pairs. I select all the bodies and ask the software to find all the face pairs within a tolerance of 0.2 millimeters. I also define a coefficient of friction of 0.15. With the see-through view setting, I can quickly verify that all the contacts were well created between the parts. I will now create the first set of bolt preloads. In the bolt preload window, I select from the drop-down menu force or displacement on 3D elements dash cut plane. I then select the cutting plane of the first bolt and specify the preload force. For this subcase, each bolt will get a preload force of 5000 newtons. The first preload subcase is now complete. For this example, I will create another preload subcase to simulate a bolt sequencing. When I create a new subcase, I need to toggle the solution subcase to preload type, as mentioned before. Using the bolt preload tool again, I specify a preload of 7000 newtons for just two of the bolts. For the two other bolts, I simply drag and drop the loads from the first subcase to keep the preload at 5000 newtons. Finally, I create a static subcase to apply the working load. Note that this subcase will start with the displacement resulting from the last preload subcase, as if the bolt was locked in place by the preload forces. For this example, the working load is the pressure applied to the internal faces of the tube and the cap. I can now solve this simulation and take a quick look at the results. The results are now loaded. You can see the contact pressure, the bolt axial force, and magnify plot of the displacement. In the first preload subcase, all the axial forces are 5000 newton, and the contact pressure is equal around each bolt. In the second preload subcase, 
the actual force in two of the bolts remain at 5000 while it increases to 7000 in the other two. When the working load is applied, the bolt preload remains close to 5000 and 7000 newtons as long as the contact pressure is well encompassing the bolt. However, once the working load is higher, the contact pressure is no longer present all around the bolt. At this point, the actual force will increase significantly in the bolts and the cap separates from the tube as we can see in the displacement plot. This is how you define a preload on 3D elements using the cut plane method. Thank you for watching and you're now ready to apply preload to your own models.